Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today's topic is lipids. Lipids is the name used for fats. Another term which is used for fats. Fats and oil are insoluble in water and there is a wonderful chemistry behind it. Polar substances dissolve in polar molecules and the non-polar substances dissolve in non-polar molecules. That's what all like dissolve like. As we know that water is a polar molecule while fats and oil are non-polar substances. So that's why they will not dissolve in each other or we can say they form a emulsified material and the process is known as emulsification. When oil and water Mix together, they give emulsified material. Let's know that what is lipid. A lipid is any of various organic compounds that are insoluble in water. They include fats, waxes, oils, hormones and certain components of membranes and function as energy storage molecules and chemical messengers. They have lots of energy in them, but they are not the basic source of energy. Always remember, the basic source of energy is glucose. And when our body doesn't have glucose to consume, then at that time we burn our lipids. We burn our fats. So in this way, I have told you in my previous lectures that 1 gram of carbohydrate gives us 3.8 calories of energy, while 1 gram of lipid gives us 9 calories of energy. Now the number 9 is bigger than as compared to the number 3.8. But, the lipids are the second source of energy. First of all, we will consume carbohydrates or glucose and after that, the lipids will come. So, we can say that although lipids are higher in energy, but they are not easily breakable. So, that's why first of all, our body utilizes carbohydrates or glucose. And later on, we use lipids. Now, there are four main groups of lipids. Fatty acids. They can be saturated or unsaturated. Now, the word saturated means single bond. And the word unsaturated means double bond between the carbon atoms. The second type of lipid is glycerides. So, please memorize their names. Glycerides, the word indicate glycerol containing lipids. Non glyceride lipids, the lipids which do not have glycerol molecule in them. And the examples are sphingolipids, steroids, and vexes. And the last one is complex lipids. And they can be lipoproteins glycolipids. Now more scientifically, lipids are macromolecules. The word macro means bigger and the word micro represents smaller like microorganisms, small organisms and the macro means the bigger molecules made up of fatty acids. Now the lipids includes oils and fats. Oils are liquid at room temperature, while fats are a little bit solid. Viscous Oils and fats are esters of long-chain carboxylic fatty acids with glycerol. So, it's very easy to memorize that there are two basic units for lipids. One is fatty acid and the second is 
glycerol. They both join to give us lipids. And these esters are made up of three fatty acids. Therefore, they are known as triglycerides. As three of the fatty acids join to give us triglycerides. Now the general formula for triglyceride consists of glycerol and ion carboxylate. Glycerol and carboxylate ions joins together to give us triglyceride. And this is the general formula for triglyceride in which carbon is forming a bond with COOR means that this triglyceride is the basic fatty acid which is formed by glycerol and carboxylate ion. Now simply by removing hydroxyl group from glycerol and joining it with carboxylate ion we will get triglyceride. Here comes the topic that how lipids looks like. Lipids are present in the form of oil and fat. Now if I talk about oil, we all know oil exists in liquid form at room temperature. They are triglycerides of unsaturated fatty acids. Now the point which you have to memorize here, the word unsaturated. This word is used for oil means double bonding. The double bonding is representing that the property of this liquid or the lipid is oil. While fats exist in solid form at room temperature. Why? Because in fats we have saturated fatty acids. This saturation, this single bonding make it solid, while the double bonding in fatty acids make it oily. Lipids are an important part of the body, along with proteins, sugars and minerals. They can be found in many parts of a human cell, like in cell membranes, cholesterol, blood cells and even in the brain. As we all know that lipids are basically used to store the energy. So that's why they store energy in our body and give it to us when we need it. Now what are fatty acids? Fatty acids are building blocks of lipids. There are three main types of fatty acids. Saturated, monounsaturated, and polyunsaturated. All fatty acids are chains of carbon atoms with hydrogen atoms attached to the carbon atoms. Now the word saturated means that the fatty acids having single bond in them. Monounsaturated. It means that the fatty acid having single double bond in them. Polyunsaturated. It means that the fatty acids having more than one double bond in them. Now there are some examples for long chain saturated fatty acids. They are long chain saturated or unsaturated carboxylic acids. These are palmitic acid and stearic acid. These both examples are saturated fatty acids. Palmitic acid is present in palm oil, butter, milk and cheese. And if I talk about stearic acid, stearic acid is also saturated fatty acid but our body converts it into oleic acid which is a very beneficial fat present in our body. These acids form esters oils or fats with glycerol in the presence of mineral acids. Now why lipids are important? Where we use it? 
fats and oils are high energy foods they are source of vitamin a d and e they are used to build brain cells nerve cells and cell membranes they are insoluble in water as they are non polar but soluble in organic solvents and here the question arises that why we all know that like dissolves like the polar substances dissolve in polar molecules and we know that fatty acids are non polar substances so they dissolve in organic solvents the fat stored in the body insulated as they are poor conductor of heat and electricity now here comes the point that from where we get these fatty acids from where we get these lipids fats and oils are synthesized naturally by animals plants and marine organisms animal fats are found in adipose tissue cells animals secrete milk from which butter and ghee is obtained butter and ghee are used for cooking and frying of food for preparing bakery products and sweets while if i talk about animal fats they are used in soap industry plants and marine organisms are also the source of lipids plants synthesize oils and store them in seeds such as sunflower oil coconut oil groundnut oil and corn oil these oils are used as vegetable oils or ghee for cooking and other purposes and the last but not the least marine animals like salmon and whales are also a source of oils these oils are used as medicine for example cod liver oil thank you so much for more videos keep watching have a great day